Hi there, welcome back. This is Elvis from RoofTuneUp.ca once again. Today I'm on a repair in which this guy has no clue what to do with this valley anymore. He's had so many people out here, it's not even funny. Um, you can see all they've really ever done is put caulking all the way up and down it, tar upon tar upon tar. And uh, he's forced to do this roof because of it. But like I told him, listen, I can tear this valley out and put a new one in. It's going to cost you a few bucks, but, uh, but it can be done. So if you guys can see right now, what I've done is I've chalked lines up and down both sides of the valley, which is going to dictate where my new valley is going to go. Because what I'm going to do is prep this for a 90 pound insert. Um, basically we're going to cut it out, remove all the nails, open it up, start from the bottom, pull a new valley right up to the top, and then I'm going to use my gun to re-nail it. Next time you see this, this will be a new valley installed. Um, it's actually really tricky to go through these with you guys in order to try to show you how to do it. Because uh, honestly, if you're unless you really know what you're doing, you can end up doing a lot more damage and causing yourself quite a bit more headaches. So this one uh, basically is to let you guys know that it can be done. It's a matter of finding a pro to do it. Okay. So uh, we'll see you shortly, and uh, when you see this valley again next time, it's going to be very different from this. So clue, and we'll see you soon. Okay, welcome back. Uh, so we've got this valley prepped. Uh, we were sleeping here and sleeping down there. So basically what we've done is we've chopped our lines, we removed all of the garbage. Now what we're about to do is a 90 pound insert. Okay, basically what that is, is a 90 pound rollout valley, which we've cut in half and we're going to double up. Just like that. When you see this valley next time, it's going to be all done. So we'll see that. Okay, well there you have it, finished product. We actually had to re-nail, replace all the shingles on this one side particularly, because it was just caulked like mad. Uh, now we've made a valley to force the water down to the east trough. You can see how professional it looks. This does not take value off your roof. Adding tar and make a mess of it does, okay? Um, don't use tar, as you can see, I don't. I only use caulking. To, uh, to cover up my nails that I make in the roof, but other than that, we don't use tar whatsoever. And you can see, I mean, I personally have been in roofing for almost 10 years and I've never seen anybody do this before. This is actually a trademark all can thing. Nobody's ever done this. Um, we created a lot of these methods and now there's a lots of guys doing it, but nowhere near this. I mean, this is extreme when it comes to roof repair. But uh, I hope you guys have learned a few things and uh, above all, what to expect if somebody does come to do your valley for you. He should not be carrying a $10 pail of tar. That's something you can do yourself. You know, he, he actually paid $225 for this valley all said and done. Uh, so for you guys out there that being had by these guys that are selling you tar for three and $400, I mean, come on, look what I can do for two and a quarter, okay? This is a 20 foot long valley and it looks flawless. When this guy sells his house, guaranteed this is not the issue. Okay. But uh, here we are with another episode. I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, this is Elvis and the Boys from Roof Tuna. We'll see you next time.